Come all you young lasses, I pray you attend Unto these few verses that I have here penned I'll tell all the hardships that I did undergo With a lovely young lassie called Sally Monroe James Dixon's my name, I'm a blacksmith to tread in the town of Ayr, I was born and bred. From that town to Belfast, to work I did go. And there I first met with young Sally Monroe. I love that young lassie as dear as my life. I it was my intention to make her my wife. Ah, but dear, as I loved her, her parents said no, which caused me to mourn for young Sally Monroe. Of times I do sigh with the pen at the breast, for the fairest of damsels, the girl I love best. But my master's employment and forced me to go to a place far distant from Sully Monroe. For six months and better no word did I hear about this fair damsel, the girl I loved dear, till one bright summer's evening down about Sandy Road. It's who should I meet but young Sally Monroe And I told her if she'd come to near me with me In spite of her parents, it's married we'd be She says no objections have I far to go If you'll only prove constant to Sally Monroe Ah, here is my hand, love, and here is my heart Till they separate us, we never will part I am that afternoon to Newry did go And there I got wed to young Sally Monroe It was at Warren's Point the ship Newry lay with three hundred passengers already for sea. We both cleared our passage for Quebec also, and there I embarked with young Sally Monroe. On the 14th of April, our ship had set sail, and she bore down the channel on a sweet, charming gale. The parting of friends made some salt tears to flow But I was quite happy with Sally Monroe On the second evening there came a great shock When all of a sudden our boat struck a rock There was none could be saved that was there down below and in amongst the number I lost, Sally Monroe. Many's a husband that day lost his wife. I and children he loved far dearer than life. Yet I was preserved for the salt tears to flow. I mourn when I think on young Sally Monroe. It was from her parents I stole her away Which will be on my conscience till my dying day But it was not to harm her that ever I did so I cry when I think on young Sally Monk
I am a Hamlin Irish man. In Ulster I was born in, and many's a happy hour I spent on the banks of sweet Loch Erin. For to live poor I could not endure, like colours of my station. To America I sailed away and left this Irish nation. Right, Tantanana, Tantanana, right, Tantanana, and the Nandy. The night before I went away, I spent it with my darling. From three o'clock in the afternoon till the break of day next morning. But when that we were going to part, we linked in each other's arms. And you may be sure and very sure it wounded both our charms. Right, Tantin and Na. Tantanana, right Tantanana, and the Nandi. The very first night I slept on board, I dreamt about my Nancy. I dreamt I held her in my arms, and well, she pleased my fancy. But when I woke out of my dream and I found my bosom empty, and you may be sure and very sure that I lay discontented, right, Tantanana, Tantanana, right, Tantanana, and the Nandi. When we arrived at the other side, we were both stout and healthy. We cast our anchor in the bay, going down to Philadelphia. So let every lass link with her land, blue jacket and white trousers. Let every lad link with his lass, blue petticoat and white flounces. Right, Tantanana, Tantanana, right, Tantanana, and the Nandy. Right, Tantanana, Tantanana, right, Tantanana, and the Nandy. Thank you. 
the well of the Nancy, it's now I must leave you. And cross the main ocean, where the stormy winds blow. It's let my long journey be of no trouble to you. For my love, I'll be back in the course of a year. It's talk not of leaving me here, lovely Willie. It's talk not of leaving me here on this shore. For you know very well your long journey will grieve me. Stay at home, lovely Willie, to the seas do not go. As her ship sent a sailing, lovely Nancy stood a wailing. The tears from her eyes down like fountains did flow. As Willie went a walking, the key of Philadelphia, the thoughts of his Nancy still run in his mind. Then Willie wrote a letter to his own true love, Nancy. Saying, if you'll be constant, sure I will prove through. Lovely Nancy on deathbed, and could not recover. When the news was sent to him, that his love was no more. Come all you pretty fair maids, and a warning take by me. And never court a seaman, nor a sailor so bold. For first they will court you, and then they'll deceive you. For their mind is perpetual, like the West are in wine. <laughs>
To view the fair valleys in spring, in twas down by the banks of a river, I heard a fair maid she did sing. I stood there in silent amazement. For to gaze on that creature so fair, she seemed to be brighter than Venus, the maid with the bonny brown hair. Her skin was as pale as a lily. Her cheeks like the red rose in June. Her eyes they didn't sparkle like diamonds. On her breath it did bear a perfume. On a dress of a bright shining velvet. Was a dress this fair maiden did wear, and gems of bright gold and bright silver was entwined in her bonny brown hair. For a long time we courted together. Till we named the bright wedding day. One day while conversing together, very kindly to me she did say. 
Say an I have another more kinder My lands and my fortunes to share So farewell to you now and forever Send a maid with a bunny brown As I went down by on harbour, I spied a ship from the proud land of Spain. They were singing and dancing with pleasure, but I had a heart full of pain. And as the ship sailed down the river, I spied my old sweetheart so fair, quite content in the arms of another. The maid with the bunny brown hair.